Hey everybody, this is Larelia, and today I am coming to you with a video um, about something that I talked about in the last video. And so in the last video, you know, I had mentioned something about why many of us have been conditioned um, to be in debt. And I said that um, I was going to leave that point for another video because that's a whole different topic. But today I want to touch on it. And the reason why I want to touch on it because it actually, um, it came up again. I was talking to a girlfriend of mine and she just finished grad school, I believe last year. And she is still looking for a job. And so I, I want to um, share something with you, which is something that her and I discussed, but it's something that many of us um, experience and why we have been conditioned um, to just go with that situation. And so the situation is, is that, um, she is currently $200,000 in debt. The job that she is looking for will pay her 51,000. Now you don't need to be a mathematician to know that there is no way during the time of her living that she would be able to pay off $200,000 of debt with interest with a salary of $51,000. And so I want you to think about that for a moment because many of us, if we are not in that situation, we know someone who is in that situation or we are grooming our children or our loved ones to be in that situation. And so for many of us, that just seems normal. Like most people just like, oh, that ain't no big thing. Yeah, you go to college, you you get into debt. You get student loans. And something is wrong with that picture because like I said, if you don't see nothing wrong with that picture, with you being in debt, going to school to get into debt with no idea how you're going to pay it off, because nine times out of ten, the salary that is going to pay you when you finish school will not help you pay off those loans. And for so many people, that is a reality. And that is something that many of us just go with the flow. Now, now by no means am I an advocate for saying don't go to school. You know, um, I have went to college. I was actually smart enough to listen to my parents. Um, and so the, the student loan debt that I have is very minimal. I mean, I'll be honest with you, it's under $12,000. Um, so it's almost laughable, um, to some people. And the only reason why I even have that debt is because, um, for the first two years, I didn't listen to my parents. And so I went out of state. And then once I saw that, um, I needed more loans just to be able to pay that out-of-state tuition. Something told me, you know what, you better take your butt back to the state that you live in. And so once I did that, um, I was able to get, um, you know, aids and aid and grants um, to pay uh, for my college tuition. And so there's someone who's listening to this video and saying, well, many of us are not that fortunate. We're not that lucky, Lorelia. So we have to take out student loans. Now, I, I, you know, I said that in 2016, I was going to go more into student loan debt. I get a lot of questions about that topic, about how to reduce the debt, um, how to pay the debt when you are in that situation. You're pretty much upside down financially. Like I said, a $50,000 salary is not going to pay $200,000 of debt, especially when you have living expenses and, you know, it, the list goes on and on. I will touch on this subject. The same way many of us are conditioned to get into debt, because like I said, for some people, it's just normal. You go to college, you get in debt, and oh, well, um, you just see what happens. But it's something how people will understand except getting in debt for a college degree. But when it's time for you to invest in yourself, and that's what I talked about in the other video 
about there's two reasons why people will not invest in financial education. Because this is where you're conditioned at. You're conditioned at, to, to get into debt for an education that may not even pay you when you get out of school. Because currently right now, that girlfriend of mine that I just mentioned, she's working a job that's not even what she went to school for in grad school. But when there is an opportunity for you to invest in yourself, to further your knowledge in a certain area, help you financially in a, in a certain area, people don't want to pay for that. They do not want to pay for that type of education. And that's why the balloon of debt grows and grows and grows. Because there are so many people who are so conditioned to get into debt for, to me, and, 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 and pretty much, it's almost like an imaginary degree. It's almost like you're going to school for an imaginary degree. And when I say school, I mean college or any advanced learning institution. And you will not even get a job for the particular field of study that you went for. But when there's an opportunity for you to learn something that can help you financially, no one wants to pay for that. And so that's really why so many people are in the situation that they're in because of conditioning. Like I said, there are some people who are going to watch this video and they're going to say, what's wrong with student loan debt? You know, isn't that just something that you do? You go to college, you know, you if you want to go to college, you get into debt. Something is very wrong with that picture. And so this is what I have to say about the matter. You know, whether you invest in what I'm providing or what anybody else providing um, that can help you. Look for a way to invest in that. Because a lot of times the investment that you make in that will not put you in debt like the investment that you may put into other areas. Because unfortunately for many people, there's no return on an investment for going to an institution for higher learning. For some people there are, but other people it isn't. So I'm going to leave that. I'm going to leave it really at that point. Like I said, I wanted to touch on it about how we've been conditioned to be in debt. But if you are somebody who have watched my videos, I, I get the email. So, you know, I know that there's people who want the information. And I have had people who currently are enrolled in my class that I'm going to be holding this month in September. Um, you'll learn more about it if you go to www.yourmoneymentor.com slash online class. We are almost in 2017, and like I said, if you have made the commitment to yourself in the beginning of 2016 to say that you wanted to get out of debt, you wanted to raise your credit score, but you're still in that same situation because you're trying to listen to free sound bites, now is the time to make an investment in yourself. Because the same people who are sitting on the fence saying, should I make an investment in this class are the same ones who are probably, same as my girlfriend, $100,000 or more in uh, college student loan debt. So once again, this is Lurelia signing off, and I look forward to talking to you next video. Bye-bye.